Today I'm excited to show you a new feature of our one of our components, the TWW layout grid. Uh, quite often in a lot of applications, you may want to transition uh, the view from one record to another. This is particularly true when you have like a real estate type application, such as the one I'm going to show you right now. In this demo, we're seeing uh, a picture of a house, one of the pictures, and we also have other information such as the room location. This is the bar. And we also have a record number here, 127. Now, when I move between records with this arrow button, it will move to the next uh, record, which is another picture. And now this is the bathroom showing down here. And this is uh, record number 2 of 27. And we can keep doing that. And you notice it's not just transitioning the picture. It's also transitioning the other data of the record. And we can change this to another type of transition. Let's go ahead and pick a fade. Now when I move from one record to another, it's going to fade between the records. So you can see that. We can pick all these other transition types. These are all the ones that come with FireMonkey, and we've taken advantage of those and put them into um, this transition capability. So now I just picked a circle. The circle is not centered at the radius and the center, so it's kind of going from one side to the other. Let's go ahead and try one more. Let's do, um, I don't know what some of these even are. Let's try crumple. Uh, let's go ahead and transition. Oh, that's interesting. Not quite sure that's great for the real estate apps, but it certainly will catch your uh, user's eyes. Now I can also change this to be a multiple records because the, the layout grid can display more than one record at a time. So now I'm displaying four pictures at a time. And you can see not just a picture, but also the room location is shown down here. If I transition to a new page, it will transition four records at a time. Let's go back to uh, the fade. I think that's a little more normal type uh, transition. And now I can see it's changing from one room to the other. Sorry, one page to the other. Okay, now let's go see how do we build this uh, application like this with Firepower and with its components. It's actually very easy. Just a few property settings. I don't think there's even any code at all required to accomplish this. So let's go back to design time. Okay, we're in the Delphi 10.1 Berlin Studio IDE, and we're going to open up our main demo that's included with Firepower. You'll notice here it's in the public documents folder under Firepower 7.0, 18.0 demos, main demo. Let's go ahead and open up that demo. And in this demo, it shows a lot of the capabilities of Firepower. It goes through the different types of grids and shows some custom coloring. It has a lot of information there, and I really encourage you to reference this demo to see how to do a lot of the common features of Firepower. But for right now, we're going to go ahead and open up the house photos demo. And this is the one that's going to show you the transition capabilities of the TWW layout grid. So let's go ahead and... Uh, um, look at the layout grid that's on this form and you see I've selected a Component called LG images, which is a TWW layout grid and the layout grid is a component that lets you display one or more records at a time to your end user you can display it vertically horizontally or a combination of both But for the transition we're going to display just one at a time and we can change it to four at a time too We have a little combo here that lets the user select one record or multiple records so let's go and show you how to set the layout grid up for transition. So now to show you how to set the properties up, we're going to go ahead and delete the layout grid. And then we're going to drop it back in and assign all the properties so you see exactly how to set it up. So I drop the layout grid into my form. I'm going to align it to the client. I'm going to change the row count uh, to be 1 instead of 3. I only display one record at a time. And now I'm going to change also the tracking when you use your fingers to scroll on a mobile device. We want it to just track a page at a time instead of halfway through a record, which is a default. Because a default will just smoothly animate it, but here we just want to do a page at a time. So let's go to the paint options and look under the tracking. So touch tracking, we have a default now, but now we're going to change that to page tracking. And the other thing we need to do is we need to assign code to these buttons so it will move a page at a time. So this code is still left over. All it really does is it'll use the layout grid images and it will animate a page 
and true means it's going to go forward and false means it'll go backwards so on my button for the right it's going to go forward and then when I go backwards it's going to go backwards so here's the other button that goes backwards so let's go ahead and change the name of this so it'll match um, our code there's the layout grid and the name I'm going to call it layout grid images and now that will match my code but so far all we, we don't have any controls in this layout grid so we need to show it what to display so let's go ahead and drop in a TWW image control and we're going to align that on the top let's make it look like that let's also drop in a layout we're going to put some other controls in there I'm going to align this to the bottom and I'll smooth this back up and align the image to the client now I'm going to put a couple of label controls into this T layout that will help us actually display to the end user more information and we're going to format it as well. I'm going to align the label on the right to the to the right or is right there it is and make that a little bit bigger and I'm going to align this label to the client still make that a little bit here okay and I'm gonna give this a name of label recnum this is we're gonna display the record number here and there we go um, one more other property setting I did want to do I forgot to do it earlier is I want to change the options so that it doesn't show the indicator on this layout grid. We don't need the indicator when we're only having one record at a time anyway. So we'll go to the options and we'll turn off the indicator. We're almost done setting this demo up. There's a few more property settings. I'm going to go ahead and toggle the read-only property to true for the layout grid. So let me select it and scroll down to read-only. I'll make that true because we don't really need to edit the transitions and we're going to go ahead and not highlight the active row since there's only one row we don't need to highlight it and this label here we haven't bound it to a column yet so let's go ahead and bind this to not the not the bitmap I'm sorry the text of this label goes to location and the bitmap goes to picture all right now let's go ahead and run and see how this demo operates over here you can see that am I still showing it's confusing oh yeah there you go let's see that it's nicely just transitioning we may want to align it to the picture to the fill up the whole stretching so we'll go ahead and change that wrap mode to stretch and now we run it again now it's stretching see it's transitioning we can change it just like I did before fade and so on if you want to see what code is behind these combos it's just a case statement and sets a property in inside the uh, there it is. just basically if it's one of these it'll set the transition type there's one more piece of code that you'll probably use quite often with the layout grid and that event is called the on custom draw control event this event allows you to customize a painting of each control within the layout grid so this layout grid contains an image and a couple labels this label here when you notice I ran at runtime it's set 1 of 2 I'm sorry 1 of 21 2 of 21 3 of 21 so it's actually a little more complex kind of string that's not actually in the database part of it is but not the whole thing so how have we accomplished that if you look at the event it's concatenating the ID field of the database see that right here and then it's concatenating that with the word of and then also the record count of the actual data set so it will take the ID field 
and then we'll say 1 of 21. The next record will say 2 of 21. And notice that it's assigning it to the text property of the control that's being painted. So my code will first check if it's the label rectum field. If it is, it's going to change the text property of the control that's going to be painted. So that's an important event that you may use to customize other types of controls too. All right, that about wraps it up. And I hope you guys can enjoy this component and this particular feature of it. Thank you.